you're joining me at Northy Park, it's a syndicate water in Peterborough and it's home to the £50 common called Kitch. I had a ticket all of last season, but I didn't come here until November. I had a lot of things on last year with Burfield and then the trips to Belgium. So I think it was the, the third week in November I came. I've done a couple of trips, was just getting into it, and then Dave Lane caught the big common. It was over 50 pounds, fair play to him, but realistically it ended all chance I had myself of getting that fish. But because you're allowed to use the boat, um, not to put your rigs out, but to go out and have a look about, I thought, by putting a bit of effort in at that time of year, bearing in mind Kitch had been out, no one was here, I'd be able to get out, learn the lake bed, and again, like I said, try and help me out for later in the campaign. But um, one of these trips, I came down here, and uh, it was half frozen, got out there, and there was sort of 20 fish sitting over this dying weed bed. And uh, I managed to sneak out of the area, but at the same time, I'd located this lovely gravel patch, probably a rod length, maybe two rod lengths away from where they were sitting. Got into this swim, got out there, pretty minimal, you know, a couple of flicks, light lead, and uh, four spoms of mixed corn and crumb, and uh, opened my account with a typical fish for a 24 pounder, lovely rounded fins on it, and I was over the moon. But that spot wasn't finished there, you know, two more trips in a row after that first one, and uh, caught a 14 pound common on the second one, and on the third one, a fish called Tea and Biscuits, one of the known 30s, and it was 32 pounds. So I was pretty confident at that point, you know, free fish and free trips, no one around, it was all going well. But then uh, it all went winter, <laughs> you know, I had a massive 19 night blank. Um, I, tr I tried everything, I was moving around, getting out in the boat, but it's just been really, really tough going. No one else was really catching, so um, I told myself that it was nothing that I was doing wrong. But since then, 19 nights I was without a take, like I say, and um, I was getting a bit despondent. When we're into March, everyone's crying spring. You look on Facebook, social media, everyone's catching fish, and it was uh, slow to get going on here. But um, one day after a good lap round, I'd walked about looking for fish, found nothing, gone back to my swim, wrapped up to my normal spots, just about to make a cast, and I got the breakthrough. I just saw the, the sun come out from behind the clouds. This fish ghosted over this shallow area, a big dark line just moved through, and uh, that was the sign I needed. So I concentrated my vision in that, in, in that area, and then a big crow, or a seagull, I can't remember which way around it was. First of all, the crow came down, and a big flat spot appeared on the surface is something like subsurface spooked and then uh, obviously the seagull come down and done the same and I kept my eyes fixed in that area and then doof, doof, it come out twice literally picked up a rod had it in my hand threw it out there and uh, second time of asking exactly where it needed to be I marked the line just in case that rod tore off probably probably 10-15 minutes later and uh, as I picked into it so shallow this lake fish just spooked in all different directions there was quite a few out there and after quite a hairy battle off it got in some pad roots and stuff I landed a nice 23 pound linear recast after that one got it out there the first time of asking because I'd marked the line and again it wasn't out there very long and I had another one of the 30 pounders from here a fish called the stalker beautiful rounded fins nice plump mirror probably a good weight for it being the spring and that and I was uh, really pleased from that. after that massive 19 night blank it was just good to finally to get one and uh, I don't mind admitting when I was tying my baits on in between those fish I was shaking you know it's such a buzz when you've gone so long without catching but um, the trip after that um, arrived back in the same swim someone was just packing up from that swim and they'd said they'd seen one show on the bush just round to the right and um, this particular spot I'd been I'd been baiting I'd been clipping up to it all winter long I'd fished it quite a few times so I knew what to do I wrapped up the rods fired it in there at the first time of asking and before I'd even tied the bait on the second rod I caught tea and biscuits again the same well it's, it's a really unlucky you know out of half a dozen fish or so to repeat capture but it was just nice to finally be catching again and I followed that up the following morning with a 26 pound mirror that came I looked round in these reed bed there was a few fish milling around flicked a pop up round there and it was only out there 10 minutes but since then I've done a, a three night blank and uh, as we talk about this now, I think we're, this is my second from last trip before the season closes here. So I like to say, I've got one more night this trip and then three more nights next week. And uh, I'll be going full steam ahead, trying to get Kitch. It's probably unlikely Dave catching him so late and uh, it's been fishing really slow, but you never know, with fingers crossed, we'll be trying our hardest to try and get amongst it. But after that, I'm gonna uh, go to Burfield and uh, do the spring there and into the warmer months. And uh, all being well, we'll get lucky over there. If not, you know, I'm gonna come back here September. You know, this year, I sort of come here with a the sort of attitude just to come, I thought I was just gonna come down here, find them in the boat, flick out and catch them. But having been out in the boat and looked at the lake bed, it's 
very up and down, very weedy in places. It's going to take a bit more of a concerted effort to learn the lake bed and really it's going to be more spot fishing. I've tried to fish at opportunist, it's not really worked. Um, but yeah, th this year I'm going to go at Burfield, I'm going to come back in September, give it another full steam ahead all the way through till next spring and uh, I'll let you know what happens. Hopefully I'll have something to show you next time we speak.